welcome today we take this question paper for solution cbse class 12 2019 and it is our seventh part part 7 and first problem we have to take it is 24 or the question is find inverse of the following matrix a is equal to 1 2 minus 2 minus 1 3 0 0 minus 2 1 by using elementary operations the the problem actually it is very simple a matrix is given square matrix we have to find its inverse and the method is mentioned you can find its inverse by using elementary operations only for that purpose we have take this matrix is equal to i means 1 into a it is admissible because this is a this is a and this is unit matrix so this into a is a so i can always write this is equal to that now by using that operations only elementary operations we have to find the inverse so it means actually we have to transform this matrix by a unit matrix this unit matrix by using elementary operation here we will use only elementary row operations and at the same time what row operation elementary row operation is is used here that same must be applied to that a is in that the first of all we acha just just one minute in order to use in order to bring this into an unit matrix so this row must be 1 0 0 1 0 0 is still there zero is there so we have to make this element zero for that purpose we operate operating r2 plus r1 r2 plus r1 and same operations must be applied there so this this will give you 1 2 minus 2 first operation first row is intact Sec, for second row we have to add these two so 0 5 minus 2 third row also intact 0 minus 2 1 is equal to here also we have to apply same operation first one intact add these two third one intact into a after that we have to make this this is 1 0 0 this must be 0 1 0 by one operation it is not possible first of all to try to make this is 0 and that is 1 1 and it will be 2 will be there for that purpose let us operate this plus that r3 plus r1 
R3 plus R1 that will give you it zero and R2 plus two times R3. So left hand side R3 will be changed, R2 will be changed, R1 intact. So 1, 2, minus 2. And R2, first of all, okay, R2 plus 2 times R3, R2 plus 2 times R3. So it is 0. This plus 2 times that, that is 5 minus 4, that is 1. And it is actually uh, this plus two times that, that is, this is also zero. And R3 plus R1, R3 plus R1, oh no, actually to make it zero, we have to add this with that. So R1 with R3 add R1 with R. So actually it is R1 plus R3. So just, just a minute. R1 plus R3, this plus that, so that it is equal to 1, this plus that it is 0, this plus that it is minus 1. R2 plus 2 times R3, this is 0, this plus 2 times 1, this plus that it is equal to, this plus that it is minus 1 and 0 minus 2, 1. is equal to same operation so r1 plus r3 this plus that so that it is 1 0 1 r2 plus 2 times r3 this plus twice of that that is 1 1 2 0 0 1 into a let us check 0, 1, 1, 2, minus 0, minus 2, 1, and this is minus 2, 2, 1. Why? Hmm. 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, Somewhere I have mistaken, and actually, just to, just a minute, it is one two minus two. Just just one minute. One two zero minus two one, and after that. 1 0 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 0 why 0 because this r2 plus 2 times r3 so it becomes 0 and this is intact 0 minus 2 1 and this becomes actually uh, 1 0 1 okay then 1, 1, 2, that is also okay. And it is R3. R3 is intact. So it is okay. A. Achha, next, we have to make this 0, this one 0, so that 
we have to operate R3 plus 2 times R2. So it will give you 1, 0, minus 1. This is also intact. 0, 1, 0. And add 2 times this so that it is 0. This is 2 plus that 0. And this is 1. It is equal to, we have to simply apply R3 plus 2 times R2. So first one intact. Second R2 also intact. And this 2 times this plus that. So 2, 2, 5. 2, 2, 2 times R2. 5 into A. Now still it is not I3. So we have to make it 0. For that purpose, use the operation R1 plus R3. And that will give you this plus that 1, 0, 0. Second row intact, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 is equal to same rule have to, ap ap to apply there, R1 plus R3, so this plus that, so it is equal to 3, 2, 6, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 2, 5 into A. So now it becomes identity matrix 1 0 0 0 1 etc. Now from from this now from this step we obtain our required inverse matrix. How multiplying on right a inverse. So, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 into A inverse is equal to 3, 2, 6, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 5 into A. A and I have multiplied A inverse on right, A into A inverse. So, unit matrix into a matrix, matrix itself, that is A inverse, is equal to 3, 2, 6, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 5 into A into A inverse is I, so I into that is this. So we get A inverse is equal to that. And I request you to check the steps I have followed. Law is okay, R1 plus R3, or so I have first step, in first step I have taken R2 plus R1. Next step we take R1 plus R3 and R2 plus 2 times R3 and so on. That is okay. So you have to check the uh, I mean, you have to check the calculations. But it, it is five or two or etc. It simply simply check it. Okay. So this problem is okay. Oh, over. Next problem. Our next problem is problem number 25. A 
the question is a tank with rectangular base and rectangular sides open at the top is to be constructed so that its depth is 2 meter and volume depth is 2 meter that is h is equal to 2 and volume is equal to 8 uh, meter cube cubic meter if building cost is rupees 70 per square meter for the base and rupees 45 per square meter for the sides what is the cost of least expensive tank i repeat the problem once again a tank is to be constructed a tank with regular base and re with rectangular base and rectangular sides open at the top is to be constructed so that its depth is 2 meter and volume is 8 meter cube if building cost is rupees 70 per square meter for the base and for the sides it is rupees uh, 45 rupees 45 per square meter for the sides then what is the cost of least expensive tank Achha, the, given that depth of the tank is 2 and it is rectangular suppose this is base Suppose this is the tank, base is this, height is that, suppose its length is x and y is that length and height is 2. So, first of all, we find what is total base area base area is x into y base and area of four sides one two three and four it is actually two into x plus y into h that is two into x plus y x into h and h is here two so it is 4x plus y. Achha. So total area is this and that. And given that volume is 8 cubic meter, therefore volume is equal to 8 cubic meter means volume is equal to x into y x into y into 2 so 2xy and it is our 8 so from here given 8 is equal to 2xy gives xy is equal to 4 so y is equal to 4 by x So now find our total cost for base. It is x into y and 
manufacturing cost is rupees seventy per. So it is equal to seventy into x y plus. This is four into x plus y, and construction cost is rupees forty five into forty five per. So total cost. So total cost say it is equal to z is equal to that. So z is equal to seventy x y is our you see x y is your four plus it is four into forty five that is one eighty into x plus y is equal to four by x. So this is total cost, and it is now taken only in terms of x. So uh, by using calculus, very easily you can find out the minimum cost, that is least cost. For that purpose, calculate dz dx. This becomes zero. This is one eighty into one minus four by x square. So, for maximum or minimum value of z, we must have dz dx is equal to zero. That is, we must have one eighty into one minus four by x square is equal to zero. That is, from here. X squared is equal to four. That is, x is equal to plus minus two. But x is equal to minus two is not admissible. So we take x is equal to two. Next, let us see whether x is equal to two is corresponding to maximum or corresponding to minimum. For that purpose, d two j. dx2 from here it is equal to 180 into derivative of this is zero and it is minus 4 by x square its derivative is plus 8 by x cube and it is positive for x is equal to 2 so it is minimum value so minimum cost cost is Minimum cost is j is equal to that corresponding to x is equal to two. So j minimum is equal to two eighty plus one eighty into at two plus two that is four. So that two eighty plus four into that. That is rupees. This is the least cost for that construction. Next problem. Next problem is twenty six, and that problem is using integration. Using integration, find area of the triangle ABC where vertices a two five b. Four seven and C six two. 
So, equation, uh, I mean, uh, one triangle is given whose vertices are A, B, and C. We have to find its area by using integration. For that purpose, I construct it first. It is 2, 5. Suppose that point is A, 2, 5. A. Then B is 4, 7. Somewhere there. 4, 7. B. And C is 6, 2. 6, 2 is somewhere there. C, C. 6, 2. So this is the triangle. And to find its area by integration, first of all, we have to find the equation of AB, BC, and AC. Equation of AB. It is a straight line and it passes through 2, 5 and 4, 7. So its equation is AB, y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1, that is 2. That is, it is equal to 2 by 2 cancels, so x minus 2. So equation AB is y minus x is equal to 3. I mean y is equal to x plus 3. Now to find equation of BC, it passes through this point and that point. So its equation is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus 4. That is y minus 7 is equal to minus 5 by 1 or 2 minus 5 by 2 into x minus 4. That is 2y minus 14 is equal to minus 5x plus 20. That is 2y plus 5x is equal to 34. So its equation is 2y plus 5x is equal to 34. Next, to find the equation of equation of AC, it passes through this and that. Uh, so, equation is y minus y1. is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus 6 x minus 2 x1 y1 x2 y2 that is it is equal to minus 3 by 4 into x minus 2, that is 4y minus 8 is equal to minus 3x plus 6, that is 4y is equal to 14 minus 3x. Four y plus 3x is equal to uh, just, just one minute. It is 8 
and it is equal to plus 6. So 4y is equal to Could y mm, plus 3x is equal to how much? Uh, check the calculation. It is 4. 4y minus 8 is equal to minus 3. This is minus 3. 2 minus 5 by 6 minus 2. So, minus 3 by 6, minus 3x plus 6. So, 4y is equal to 14 minus 3x. Okay. Now, to find the equation of uh, area of the triangle ABC uh, whose equations are now given. From here, we draw a perpendicular on x axis. Its x coordinate is 4. Its x coordinate is 4. Its x coordinate is 4. So, required area. Required area is ABC is equal to suppose this point is D, that point is E, one perpendicular, more perpendicular from A to X axis and C to X axis, F, G. It is equal to A, B, E, F, A, A, B, E, F, A. So the whole area plus the whole area minus this area, it will be equal to this area. This area plus that area. So this area, this particular A, B, D, it is equal to the whole thing minus A, E, this is E. A, E, D. A, D, E, F. Plus, I have, I have taken only this this one. Then next that part. It is equal to B C G E B. This 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 this. So actually this minus the white part minus B C G E B. So this is equal to this minus that. The area lies between x is equal to this point to x is equal to that point. Means x is equal to 2 to 4. So 2 to 4. This dx minus that dx means x plus 3 minus this, its equation is 14 minus 3x, 14 minus 3x by 4, into dx, plus, 
for this part this and that it's y is actually 34 minus 5x divided by 2 minus this one it is equal to 14 minus 3x by 4 into dx ranges from 4 to 6 and after calculation we have to take its positive value so give a modular sign and now you see it become very simple simply you have to integrate that and after integrating that limit is given uh, our answer actually is most likely 7 square meter square units okay that part you can uh, very easily you can calculate very easily so I am not doing that so with that I stop today next day we calculate from uh, next question once again I request you to like share my video and subscribe if not yet subscribed thank you